A Chicago woman says a routine Uber ride home quickly became a nerve wracking ordeal. And when she followed up to see if the driver was off the road, she got nowhere. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff looks into it in this original report. No Uber anymore for Chicago resident Katie Banks. I don't want to have another bad experience. Banks says a delayed flight left her getting into an Uber at midway around 2 a.m. Monday. She says her driver started chatting, hands off the steering wheel, looking back at her as he talked. Did you feel your life was in danger? Uh, absolutely, because, you know, he's swerving all over the road. Uh, he's not watching the road. He seems very erratic. And Banks says she let Uber know right when she got home. Despite Uber stating they have a 24-7 team on hand to respond to concerns. How long did it take for Uber to get back in touch with you? Um, it took uh, three days. In the subsequent written correspondence, Banks told Uber, my life was put in danger, adding she wanted to know if that driver is potentially still driving, putting other lives in jeopardy. In Uber mind, wouldn't answer. I would like to know what it takes for an Uber driver to not be allowed to drive for Uber anymore. That, according to an Uber spokesperson, is decided on a case-by-case -case basis. She says they have community standards, monitor drivers, and take feedback seriously. But Uber would not be more specific about any driver safety policy in place. Banks isn't buying it. I just don't want this to happen to someone else. Banks is also concerned there's no emergency recourse if an Uber passenger feels unsafe other than stop the ride, something she says wouldn't have worked in the middle of the night. But Uber did tell me late tonight her driver, Donald, no longer has access to the Uber app, at least for now. Rob? Is that standard procedure, though, if you lose access to the app? Is it likely you'll always have lost access to it? They say it can be reinstated if you take a class and you have a meeting, and they wouldn't say tonight, though, in this case, if he could do that, what I understand would be a second time. Okay. Dana Kozlov, thank you.